Rangers 4 meters, a general view before the MLB opening day game between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Texas Rangers at Globe Life Park in Arlington on March 31, 2014 in Arlington, Texas. Photo by Ronald Martinez, Getty Images by Kevin Sherrington, staff columnist at Sherrington been the nadir of last week's Rangers Roundtable for Dallas Morning News subscribers came not when Michael Young disagreed with yours truly in front of God and my boss, but when the crowd applauded. That kind of information, I could have stayed home with the lovely wife instead. Fortunately, your intrepid reporter made a comeback as the only panelist to predict the Rangers' win total. Eric Nadel couldn't even help me out with last season's results, I wasn't paying attention, the voice of the Rangers said, dry as toast. For the record, they were lucky to win 67 games last year, and it says here they'll sort of 72 this season. Which barely beats the over, according to Vegas. Chris Woodward will have a positive impact on this young Rangers team, but there's only so much a manager can do when his rotation reports to spring training this week in an ambulance. The new pitchers will be easy to spot. They'll be the ones comparing scars. Consider a few other predictions. Try not to take it personally. Best Ranger, Jose Leclerc A panel of MLB Network experts recently ranked the Rangers closer the ninth best reliever in baseball, behind the Yankees Aroldis Chapman and ahead of the Cubs Brandon Morrow. Longtime reliever Dan Plesak likes all three of Leclerc's pitches, but it's the movement on his changeup that could make him a dominant reliever this year. Of course, you ask, what good does it do to have a dominant closer on a team that probably won't break even? Shouldn't they just flip him for prospects, like Keone Kila? First, you'd have to believe the Rangers could recognize a good pitcher. They finally found one of their own in Leclerc, who's just 25. He'll be good for a long, long time. Maybe even long enough to see the Rangers good again. Best Project, Nomer Mazzara Bill James went out on a limb last year by projecting Mazzara as a Miguel Cabrera starter kit. The founder of the analytics movement couldn't be that wrong, could he? Mazzara owns the most advanced approach of any of the Rangers' young hitters, and this will be the year he makes his jump to stardom. Worst sales job, fake grass. Listening to all the Rangers' excuses as to why they're putting artificial stuff in the new ballpark, you'd think they'd been asked to grow grass on my bald head. The least they could do is try. Give it a year or two and see what happens. Are the Rangers due for new uniforms? Don't be surprised by any rebranding once Globe Life Field opens maybe in a couple of years the concept of coconut grass will be even better. Wouldn't have hurt to wait on new technology this time. Because if they'd been a little more patient and waited on advances in retractable roofs in the early 90s, they wouldn't be giving up on a stadium after 25 years. Starter most likely to be here at the end of the season, Lance Lynn, shored up by a three-year, $30 million deal. Mike Miner could draw significant prospects with a good first half. Or at least, that's what you should hope. Most welcome sight, once a rotation spot opens after the trade deadline, it'd be nice to see Taylor Hearn or Jonathan Hernandez or Joe Palumbo fill it. Time for a prospect to step up, time to start phasing out the rent-a-starter approach. Team the Rangers are most likely to chase now and for the foreseeable future, Houston not only do the Astros boast one of the best young lineups in baseball, MLB.com ranks four Houston prospects before it gets to the Rangers' Hans Kraus, at 85. Forrest Whitley, a right-handed pitcher, and outfielder Kyle Tucker, who led the Pacific Coast League in slugging, .590 and ops, .989, last year, are ranked 7th and 8th, respectively. Ranger with no place to go, Willie Calhoun good for him that he lost nearly 30 pounds this winter, which sounds like a crazy thing to say about a professional athlete who stands 5'9". Always believed in his ability to hit, and he probably believed in it a little too much. Maybe reshaping his body helps him become more than a one-tool player. But if the Rangers outfield from left to right reads Joey Gallo, Delino Deshields and Mazzara, and Shinsuchu is the designated hitter, where does Calhoun fit? 
shopping for catching, I'm expecting Isaiah Kiner Falafa and Jeff Mathis to add up to 162 games, seems a stretch. Let's just say the situation remains fluid. Evan Grant will occasionally miss what's going on because he spends too much time kibitzing with his Twitter followers, actually, this is a recurring theme. The Globe will not die with dignity, no sooner will the Rangers vacate the only place they've won a pennant, they'll turn it over to the XFL. This is a little like selling your parents' home to someone who promises to turn it into a strip club. The good news is we're still glad that baseball is almost here. We're nothing if not resilient.